Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about five super affordable tips that will make your hair look awesome. A really good series here on YouTube is by Ali of Dallas and she does a lot of bougie on a budget which I think is such a cute title and she really nails it for fashion. Um, and last week I had a client ask me about all these things to kind of help her hair and things that she could do either at home or kind of in the long run. But she was like, but I really need something that's like on a budget. So I thought, yeah, why not? Why not give you um, affordable hair tips for hair? Affordable hair tips for hair. <laughs> all right, so the first one I'm just going to jump into color. So Basically, color is kind of like the most important thing about your hair. I would probably say health, but I still think the first thing that people see about your hair is the color. So if you are on a budget and say you have grays or you absolutely need to get color, what I would suggest is get a solid color from a good colorist rather than trying to get balayage or highlights or something that's going to involve at least two colors and a much more expensive appointment. Especially if you can't afford that with someone who is say a master stylist, I would definitely go with a solid color. It will always look put together, and when your hair color looks right, your hair is going to look a lot more expensive. The next one is to not own a ton of hair products. And I feel like in today's times, I feel like so many of us are beauty junkies. We are constantly hearing, buy this, this is going to heal your hair, this is going to make your hair shiny, um, whether it's skincare or hair care. Um, and I know we all wanna try and buy a million things, but let's face it, if you have 20 hair products, are you really gonna use all of them? Most likely not. So my best advice is get as minimal as possible. If you are really on a budget, I would say get a good shampoo, get a good conditioner, and get a good argan oil. You don't need anything else. If you can have all like the fun styling products and you know different scents and different brands, that's great. But if you're just looking to have your hair at its optimal state and health and look good on a daily basis, if you have good color and a good argan oil, you're pretty set. So the third tip is about styling. And I would say doing something either more sleek or more put together is always going to make your hair look its best. So kind of steer away from something that's more frizzy or kind of more of a messy hairstyle. So definitely sticking to something a little bit more sleek, a little bit more polished is just going to make your hair that much more put together. So for my next tip, this is to keep the color fresh without necessarily having to refresh or recolor your hair. And so a best way to do that is to have a color that is not going to go brassy or warm or kind of have these unwanted warm tones. Say like any form of blonde or kind of balayage, it is going to be more high maintenance because it does require a little bit more of a toner or a purple shampoo. So if you can get a hair color that just looks great for, you know, six to eight weeks, that is key. All right, so for my last and final tip is do your hair every day. And I know that a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I don't have time, and or I know that there are a million different excuses, but if you become one of those daily rituals that you just do every single day, you will get better at it and you will need less time to, to look put together. And by doing your hair on a daily basis, it will make you love your hair a lot more. And it's also practicing self-love. Um, which is definitely one of my New Year's resolutions, and I definitely think it's something that everyone should adapt in their life. I feel like we try so hard to be best to others, to be great mothers, to be great wives, to be great at our jobs, um, and I always feel the last person to be thought of is yourself. And not to sound vain, but when you feel good about yourself and when you do take some time every day to do something for yourself and to take care of yourself, I promise that you are gonna feel so much better and you are gonna be able to take care of others even better. So before this video starts to get more spiritual or like motivational speaker, um, I feel like I will just end it here. If you're not already practicing some of these tips, I do hope you adapt them. Um, and I hope you have the most amazing hair that you've dreamt of at a very manageable and affordable budget. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.